Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your HTML emails from Figma into the email on ACID platform. Uh, and this is going to allow you to test out your HTML emails on a bunch of different devices and email clients to see how they look uh, across all those mobile and desktop uh, clients. So the first thing we need to do is just install the Emailify plugin by going to the Figma community, searching for the word Emailify, so that's E M A. I L I F Y and under the plugins tab you'll see emailify pop up and all you need to do is click on the install button and you'll be ready to go. So if you jump back into your Figma canvas and just click anywhere, right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then go to emailify, that's just going to open up the plugin uh, that we just installed a moment ago. Um, so you'll notice that I've already got an email that I've designed using the emailify plugin. If you haven't already done that, we have another tutorial on our YouTube channel that goes through that in detail. Um, so it might be worth checking that out first, but for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you've already designed an email using the plugin and we just want to export it into our email and asset account to do some testing. So to do that, we just click on the export button in the plugin and by default, it's going to come up with the HTML option, which is going to download the HTML to our computer. Um, but for today, we want to actually change that. So I'm going to click on that select box scroll down to the bottom uh, where it says upload for testing and just click on the email on asset option and you can see here that it's just changed these uh, two input boxes to come up so that's asking for our API key and our password so the password is actually the password that you use to log into your email um, on asset account so I've already got that copied so I'm going to paste that in there but that's the password you basically log into your uh, email on asset account uh, in the browser with um, and then for the API key if you click on this link here it will take you to your account page which is this one as long as you're logged in and if you're logged in and you click on that link you'll see uh, a label called API key so next to that label we've got our API key so I'm going to highlight that I'm going to copy it to my clipboard by doing uh, command C or uh, that's control C if you're on Windows and once you've copied that API key from email and asset just jump back into the plugin and paste that key into the API key field. So I've just pasted that in there and um, I've done that using Command V or you can use Control V if you're on Windows, um, but that's all good to go now. I've got my email and asset API key and my email and asset password. So that's all set up. I've got one email that I'm going to uh, send. I'm happy with it. So all I need to do now is just click on the send to email and asset button. So I've clicked that. Now it's uh, exporting and generating all the HTML for my email. It's exporting all the images and it's going to upload them. And then once that's uh, all done, it's going to send it into our email and asset account. So it's just finished. It's telling us that our email and asset tests have been uploaded and we can view the tests by clicking on this link uh, as long as we're logged into our account. So if we jump back to that link, that's going to take us to our projects page and I'm just going to refresh that. and we can see now that it's just popped up with our test so we can see that we've got our welcome to Jira Sushi email which we just sent from our Figma design and I can click on that and get a bit of a sense of what it looks like in all different devices and email clients um, so we've got our mobile devices here so we've got iPad Pro, uh, iPhone, iPhone SE, iPhone 11 all these different devices uh, we've got our Gmail uh, on mobile and then we've got a whole bunch of desktop clients as well. Um, so we can just see a bunch of different Outlook clients, uh, which are usually notoriously uh, uh, strange. You can see there's um, the, the border radius doesn't show up on Outlook. So that's one little thing we've seen. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. That's, that's fine. Um, and then a bunch of web clients as well. So we've got a bunch of web clients like Gmail. Uh, and you can see that on Chrome, on Edge, on Firefox, uh, etc. So if you're already using uh, email on ACID, you probably already know all this, but for anyone who's new to uh, testing emails, this is what it looks like. And um, the cool part is we didn't have to go through any extra steps in the web interface to get this test in there. This was sent directly from our uh, Figma designs um, with one click straight into our email on ACID account. Um, so as long as you've got your API key in there and as long as you've got your password in there, you can just keep sending tests um, over and over into email and acid from Figma. Um, so that's just going to cut down the time 
to get your tests into email and acid rather than having to do it manually each time so um, it should be a fairly big boost to your workflow um, should help speed that up a little bit more and take a lot of that manual work out each time so um, and then the neat thing is you can then re-export the email if you're happy with your tests um, it's just as easy as changing the export platform from email and acid to your um, ideal email platform so if you're uploading it to Clavio or MailChimp Postmark apps HubSpot etc um, you can just instantly change that and then just straight away upload it into MailChimp or um, download it to your computer or do whatever you want with it so it's super easy just to switch between testing and uh, rendering out the the version that you actually want to send so um, yeah that should be that should be much easier and take a lot of the manual effort out okay so that's the whole tutorial um, it's not too complicated once you've got your keys um, sorted out um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it so um, thank you as always for watching and I hope it's helpful if you're an email on acid user and you've been wanting to uh, have an integration with Figma uh, set up through the emailify plugin uh, happy, to, happy to let you know that that's all shipped and available today so uh, I hope you enjoy using it and uh, as always we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very soon.